Hey, what's going on? Today in this tutorial, I'd like to bring you a lighting tutorial using V-Ray and 3ds Max. Um, I've just got a brand new version of 3ds Max open, so uh, let's get started. In this window here, I want to hit Alt-W to maximize this. I'm going to hit Alt-B to um, set my user interface um, viewport configuration background to uh, use custom interface color just so I can see things a little bit better. From here I want to make sure that V-Ray is loaded so let's go to our renderer select V-Ray close that out. First thing we want to do is create a V-Ray dome light so let's go to V-Ray V-Ray light let's set this to dome and just select anywhere Let's zero that out at the origin by right clicking on these up and down arrows. From here, I want to go into my material browser and um, I'm going to close this library. And I want to connect a V-Ray HDRI node. Double click on that. We're going to load the HDRI. This HDRI comes from an awesome website called HDRI Haven. All the HDRIs on here are free for personal and commercial use. You can select HDRIs, go to all, and see there are about 250 of them. Some of them have back plates. You can see down here uh, what's so awesome is you can download uh, anywhere from a 1K to a 16K. Um, these are really awesome and I highly recommend supporting this guy. So I am using a HDRI from that website. Um, I have loaded it here. The first thing I want to do is come down to the mapping type and choose spherical. Let's drag this window to the side. And from here what I'm going to do is open up the dome light settings and connect the HDRI to the texture slot. From here, I want to hit 8 on my keyboard in the viewport, and we want to connect the HDRI we created to the environment slot so we can actually see it in our background. Use map automatically pops into place. We can close out of that. Now we also want to go again to our viewport configuration by hitting Alt B, and we want to use environment background. Hit OK on that. The HDRI is going to load into the background in here. Now, what we want to do is let's find our sun. It's right there. I'm going to increase the field of view so we can see things a little bit more easily. Okay, there's our sun. And what I'm actually going to do is decrease the brightness on this HDRI just so we can see the hot spot of the sun a little bit better. So I'm going to drop the overall multiplier down to 0.1. That will update. Um, there's a bug in the environment um, browser. I'm sorry, the environment uh, and effects tab where it flips the HDRI horizontally. So if I open up the preview of this, you can see that this little hedge is on the left side of the sun. If I close this out, you can see it is on the right. So that is wrong. We want to click flip horizontally. Now we will need to find our sun again. There it is, but the hedge is on the correct side of the sun. So now what we need to do, we can close out of this. I'm going to hit Alt W to open up uh, my multiple views and I want to create our direct light. For this we're just going to use a standard target direct. I can click and drag this out. Hit right click to end creation. Let's go into the settings and I want to turn down the, let's see, I'm looking for certain setting. Yeah, it's directional parameters. This. I just don't want that in the way. I'm going to drag that all the way down. So, now what we need to do, go back into this viewport so we can see what we're working with. Select our direct light 
and we want to let's go into screen mode and drag this to the center of the Sun uh, when we move this around it's going to move a little bit however if we let's go ahead and get our camera as close to the origin as we can rotate around select our direct light and once again move that into place we can increase our field of view even more it's on there pretty pretty accurately so now that we have that we want to control click our target so we have both the entire light uh, selected and we want to link this to our dome light so click the chain link here with both of these already selected and we can drag and connect to the HDRI now we can rotate this and our Sun our direct light rotates accordingly let's go ahead and zero out this um, target here so we can just right click sorry that didn't work let's go to world right click and right click to drop that to the center we could also do alt a and select the um, dome light to automatically snap that there so the next thing that we need to do let's con uh, select our v-ray dome light and what we need to do is we want to right click go down to wire parameters we want to the, let me back up the reason I'm doing this if we rotate our light the HDRI texture does not rotate so we need to link the two so let's fix that uh, with the dome selected I want to right click go to wire parameters we are going to transform we want to trans, uh, connect the rotation, the Z rotation. Let's select it, uh, connect it to itself. To the uh, object, we're going to pick the texture. Texture and horizontal rotation. So connect that. It's going to open up this window. Let's make sure this is correct. So we are taking the Z rotation of our light and connecting it to the horizontal rotation of the texture. This is the direction we want to go, so let's click that. Let's, um, because our of the bug and we had to do flip horizontally, we need to add a minus sign in front of Z rotation and connect. Uh, click connect. Okay, now we can close out of this and let's go into rotate and our HDRI rotates with our dome. This is super helpful to know exactly which direction the sunlight is coming from in our scene with this visual representation. A lot of times we just use the HDRI by itself so we can turn that off however um, this added functionality will um, may allow the artist to create different shadows um, in their scene with a, a target direct light so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, this should bring your lighting skills um, a little make them a little more advanced so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out www.illumiondigital.com. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.